Hello YouTube! This is Ryan with Ryan's Cosplay Closet, also known as The Real Malky. Welcome back to my lab. Today, we're going to be sealing a prop. Specifically, this one. Right here. Now, I've already, as you can see, I've already cut it out, done all the sanding, dremeling, detail carving, and all that stuff. Sadly, there is no video footage of that. I will do one in the future, just not right now. Today is all about sealing. And we're going to be using Rapid Fill. You can get this stuff at TNT Cosplay Supply. They are not sponsoring this video. I just really like this stuff. You can also use Mod Podge for this. And you can find that basically anywhere. Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, so on and so on. Or Plasti Dip. You can find that at um, hardware stores, again, Walmart, so on and so on. I prefer this stuff because it is non-toxic. You can just brush, brush it on with a paintbrush. But most importantly, you can sand it, which I love that part. So, also, I sealed this one with Rapid Fill and Fine Finish. Note the smoothness and all that stuff. Not many brush strokes, which is great. This one I sealed with Mod Podge. It looks good from the distance of about five or six feet, but up close you can see brush strokes and all kinds of little bumps and stuff. But again, it's good. But this stuff is better. So, here we go. Now, before you dip your paintbrush into this stuff, you want to stir it up because there are um, particles in this which can settle to the bottom. And those particles are what's going to help seal your foam. Your foam, when you get it, has thousands and thousands and thousands of pores in it. Kind of like your skin. So, we want to seal those pores. That will make the paint look more even, like it does here. So, here we go. Now, I found, I found that it's best <laughs> to seal one part of the, of the prop and then another part. That way, it makes it easier for the part to dry. Like so. Also, it avoids getting globs of stuff on it. So, we're going to start sealing the blade, like this. Now, you want to scrub, push the, the rapid fill vigorously into all those pores. And 
and then you just smooth it out like that. Then, we're going to flip the knife over and do it again. Scrub vigorously. And smooth it out. And then we do the back. And the edge. Tip. And then we just wait for it to dry. Now, you can use a hairdryer to speed up this process, but I'm not time, so I prefer to let this happen naturally. I also prefer to use my one, two, three blocks to keep the knife elevated like that. And this stuff will dry in about 30 minutes to an hour. Then I'm going to put on another coat. Then we're going to do the handle, but you don't need to see, see that. So. We will be back in about two hours for the next step. See you then. Okay, a couple hours have passed. I've put on two coats of Rapid Fill on this entire long knife. And I have sanded it with some um, 220 grit sandpaper. And now it is time for fine finish. This is going to add a, an incredibly smooth finish to the long knife. And again, you want to stir it up because again, there are particles that can settle towards the bottom. So stir it up, stir it up, stir it up. And this time we're going to be using a flat, flat edge brush. And again, we're going to apply it to the blade, and then we're going to let it dry, and then apply another coat, and another coat, and another coat, probably another coat, because the great thing about fine finish is you can wet sand it, which, as I said, adds a super smooth texture to whatever prop you're making. But it does go on much, much more thin than the rapid fill. And 
just apply long, smooth, even strokes. Try to avoid adding globs or drips or anything like that. And that is it. Now, you can speed up this drawing process if you are just going to sand it normally. But I am going to wet sand this, which means I have to wait 24 hours for it to dry. And there is no way to speed up that drying process. Not quite sure of all the chemical reactions going on, but that's what it takes. So that's what we do. And now we are going to Set it down. Keep the blade elevated. And let it dry. And that is it. Of course, there will be more coats added. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. If you want to see more stuff like this or other creative things. So I will see you next time. Have a nice day.